But let's talk about that Champions League blow uh, as the last topic of the panel today. And uh, seeing as the, the question is, have we blown Champions League? And I think it's only right to go to Lord Pessy himself uh, for this one first. <laughs> um, yeah, I've been thinking for a while that we weren't going to get it. Me and Sim have been... <laughs> of course you have. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think, like, I did a, a WhatsApp, search, a WhatsApp search, like, um, on the group chat about Villa or something like that. And I was literally saying in October to Sim, we're not finishing above Villa. <laughs> but that was just, um, me being a pessimist. I think now looking at it, um, we're a very similar level to Villa, but I feel like Villa have slightly better games and they've got one of their hard games out the way where they've won it. Um, so I now think that it, it I, I give us around a 20 30 percent chance i think we the the games that we actually blew it in were fulham and uh wolves w w those, those two games really got to me and maybe the draw against west ham we've had so many chances that i just well the villa home game as well we should have been home and hosed in the first 20 minutes exactly so it's like well, th that's the thing that i'm i'm hopeful about for next season there's so many results where i know we've taken a few pastings as well that we didn't expect but there's so many results where it could have easily gone the other way and we could have those couple of extra points here, here and there. Um, but yeah, I think for me, I'm quite sure that Villa will finish above us. Um, and that's why I'm so interested in what goes on with the um, Champions League and who, who gets knocked out. And that's what I was saying this morning about uh, the point systems and all that sort of stuff. So for me, I think we'll finish fifth. Um <coughs> And it, we do need to get some points from these games to even guarantee that, to be honest. You reckon? How many points do you think we need from now to the end of the season just to guarantee fifth? We're 10 points ahead. I six think. will be enough. The Burnley and Sheffield United will be enough for that. Yeah, six I think so. A, six should be enough, yeah. So what, you don't think we'll get that? No, I'm just saying like... <laughs> I, I I'm, just, I'm just saying like... I'm, I can't guarantee that we're going to beat... Burnley and Sheffield. Like, I can't guarantee that like, because they're both low block teams or they, they'll probably both play low block against us anyway. Yeah, They'll both so, be down hopefully by then, you'd think. We went to Turf Moor and stuck five past them earlier in the season. Yeah, and we, you know, we've had seasons where we thought we were good and we got, um, lose 5-1 to relegated teams and stuff like that. Like New, do you remember that against Newcastle? So all I'm saying is... You can't not... compare Rafa Benitez Newcastle to these Sheffield United, surely. We went down last game of the season under Conte and beat Norwich 5-1 or whatever it was. 5-0, yeah. 5-0. Yes, but that, that was when it was in our hands. So, like, if we if it gets to the point where, like, um, you know, we have uh, six points, that we have to get six points to get Champions League in those, mm. those two games or something, then I, I might think, oh, OK, like, yeah, we'll go for it. But if it's just we're battling for fifth, yeah, and fifth is Europa League, we might get to those games and just feel a bit lethargic and we might draw one. And if we draw mm. one and we haven't won any of those other games, then we don't get the six points. It's not out of the realms of possibility that we end up with less than six points like because we've got such hard games that we don't historically win, apart from Arsenal at home, which we lost last season. So, you know, it's it's tough. It's tough right now. I know I'm pessimistic, but... I can't guarantee that we're going to get six points. Josh, uh, I want to, I want a prediction. Six games to go. We're on sixty points. What, what's our points total at the end of the one. season? <laughs> <laughs> oh. what, what are we ending on? What are we ending on? Uh, s He's he can't go six because we're definitely getting something in the North London derby. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Are we? That's what I'm saying. We lost last season, but anyway, so. Um, I'd say the first number that came to my head was 69. <laughs> 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 what I mean is that Pause. Three wins, three wins, but we might get a draw in there as well. And one of those might be a draw. So I don't think we're going to, if we're on 60 points, um, I think 70 would be a big ask. 70 would be a big ask. So you think six, you think it will be 69 then? 68, Shokes 69, yeah. 68. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, that, well, yeah, and that probably... I mean, after Villa beating Arsenal, probably won't be enough. But you never know. Villa, Villa's all. I don't. Villa don't have any easy games though. Like apart what from they, they don't. Who have, they got. They got the, coupled with Europe as well. Uh, Bournemouth yeah. at home, who are on good form. Uh, Chelsea at home, unbeaten. Who unbeaten? Brighton away. Liverpool at home, and Palace away at the end of the season. 
Wow, so none of, I didn't know that was their running. That's so none tough. of them are easy. None of them are easy. No, none of them are like guaranteed wins. And let's be real, yeah. This Villa result against Arsenal threw a massive curveball at us because they were not on good form by any stretch of the imagination before that. I think they had, what, one win in their last five games and we battered them 4-0 at Villa They'd Park. they just given a two-goal lead away at Brentford, home to Brentford. You know what I mean? So it's like yeah. this Villa result and performance at the Emirates came out of nowhere. And I think, yeah. look, they played very well. But there's nothing to say with European football as well. Hopefully they'll get to the Conference League final. Right? There's nothing to say that they're going to go on a good run now. We're going to need them to win the Conference League if we want fifth to be Champions League. I know. By the way, I know exactly what's going to happen. I think I've said this okay. before. Yeah. I just know that what's going to happen is we're going to go into that last week of of the Premier League and have to either beat. Uh, um, Man City to guarantee top four for us, like because Villa have been on funny form. Like if we beat Man uh, Man City, we guarantee top four. But if we beat them as well, we guarantee Arsenal getting the title. Like as in, I can see that that double jeopardy happening where we have to decide whether we want Champions League or we want Arsenal to win the. And there is only one just... winner in that, my friend. There is only one winner, and that is get that title away from the yeah. Emirates. I am telling you, I care a lot more about Arsenal not winning the league than Spurs going and getting top four. 100%. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Um, but Kate, where are you at with it? Do you think we've thrown it away now? Um, we've still got a game in hand, have we not? We yeah, do. Chelsea away. We do. Yeah, which I think we we can beat them. Um, all you've got to do is keep Palmer quiet. And then so it's only, the, it's, it's only the one win in 30 years. All hoodoos have got to be broken at the end of the day. And uh, I think if you can keep Cole Palmer quiet, then you're, you're safe as houses because they are officially Palmer FC. But um, no, look, it is still in our hands. There's a lot to, of football still to play. I know it's a cliche. It's the same as the title race. Everyone's saying that's over. I don't think Man City will go to the end of the season without dropping points either. Yeah. Um, I think we will probably, out of the last six games, I think we'll end up with about 70, 71 points. That's what I'm, I'm predicting. Will that be enough? Will that be enough to overcome Villa, do you think? Um, I actually predicted Villa to finish above us in October and I actually said it on wow. stream and I got a lot of abuse but I said I think they're attacking and they're wingers and You and two should speak field. more often I know, we really should <laughs> um, uh, because I just think that they're attacking and, and midfielders are, are better than ours Yeah. but um, will it be enough? If it's meant to be, it will be Yeah. I'll look. Let me sit on the fence and say if, it's, if we're meant to get Champions League, we'll get it <laughs> it's as easy do, as that. I'm like you, Ben. All I want is for us to to stop Arsenal winning the league, and that's sad. But it's just, I mean, we're going to the North London derby, like I told you. I can't wait. And yeah, the thought of just stopping them and smashing their season to bits it just makes me so happy. It'll be, it'll make me so much more proud if we, if we just, if we lose every other game from now to the end of the season, but but beat Arsenal and stop them winning the league. I'll take that. I really would exactly. take that. <laughs> Me too. Uh, Sim, what are you thinking? Um, do I think... Obviously, yeah, it's been a detrimental week for our hopes of getting Champions League for sure. I think Opta, I said this before, Opta um, on the uh, predictor before the weekend had Villa at 35% chance of finishing in the top four. And after the weekend, it's now 70%. So that's how much of a swing it's been uh, just one weekend with our result against Newcastle, their result against um, Arsenal. Um, obviously, brilliant result against Arsenal. Um, I do feel like Villa, though, after after European games, I know they had a European game before the Arsenal game, but I, I feel like, Villa do struggle a lot after these European games and they're still very reliant on um, kind of... Uh, obviously, obviously, Ollie Watkins um, getting on the score sheet. Um, they're, they're still quite... They don't have... Um, great control over games I see which is why they lose a lot of leads I think they score they're good at scoring goals but they're not good at protecting leads and they do give up goals I wouldn't be surprised if on the weekend they do like to say drop points to Bournemouth who are on very good form and they do struggle in other games but obviously we got the hardest run impossible the top three um, but we are unbeaten against the top three this season. We haven't lost to them yet. Mm -hmm. So I think there is something to say about that as well. And we've also got the bottom, two of the bottom three to play in Burnley and Sheffield United. So I do think that there are six points there for sure, at least. And then I do think where there is going to be 
Now, I, I, I'm predicting four points from those other four games. So I think we'll definitely get six points out of Burnley and Sheffield, in my opinion. And then can, I think if we can get four points out of um, Arsenal, City, Liverpool and Chelsea, I don't know if four will be enough. Maybe we need... Maybe we'd need four would, if we get four points out of that, that puts, puts us on 70. That's not terrible, but do, will, will Villa get seven or more points out of um out of Bournemouth, Chelsea, Brighton, Liverpool and Palace. Do I see seven points there for Villa? I think let's say Bournemouth they can get a win there. So let's say they beat Bournemouth on the weekend. That's three. I see them struggling they to Chelsea because they lost to Chelsea in the cup and Chelsea did a real big job on them. So I see drop points there. I see drop points away at Brighton as well. I, I also see potential drop points at home to Liverpool depending if they're in the title race or not. So I reckon there I is a chance they won't get seven. There is a chance. I think they beat, I think they beat Brighton comfortably, man. Away they, from home? Brighton have only lost yeah. twice at home this season. Yeah, but Brighton haven't really got much to play for, especially at that stage. Like, And I just think... They're, Emery, they're still in it with Europe at the moment. I don't think they win it comfortably. They might are win they it. Playing, are they playing Bournemouth home or away? Bournemouth at home. So there's a good chance they win that. And then yeah. they end the season away at Palace where Glasner, who's doing all right at the moment that'll be a difficult game none of those villa games are give me games like you would probably no. assume the sheffield united and burnley ones are for us no. i don't think villa yeah. have any guaranteed points yeah it's true, it's true. i'm tough. predicting that I, I could i could see like them being getting less than seven but they just beat arsenal so maybe they'll get more points than i expect and maybe they'll go on a big run now so it's tough to call. It is very, very close. I'm, I think I have it very, very close. But I think if we can get to 70, I think there's a good chance we get it. You do got to remember, though, they're going to have Europa Conference League semi-final. Exactly. Um, and in, in, in the midst yeah. of that. So it's not like it's group stage game where they can rest a few players. They're going to have to go full mm -hmm. pelt in those games. And also they might have heart. Like it won't just be, uh, I don't think it will just be f uh, taxing physically in terms of will they have players to play both games, like getting tired. I think mentally will players have half an eye on it? Will Una Emre, who's very historically always concentrated on Europe, will he have half an eye on those games? Um, if someone's, you know, struggling with fitness and in the race for the top four, will he prioritize the conference league? game for those kind of uh, players so I think that all could definitely play into it and I can see Villa struggling um, at, the, at the end of the season um, but in terms of will can fifth still be um, a Champions League spot um, I think there's still a good chance again another week where <laughs> it went it went from 75% before last week and now it's about 57% I think with Opta with, with fifth place being a Champions League spot I think the, the key takeaway here is um even if Liverpool, West Ham and Arsenal all go out this week, there is actually still a good chance that fifth will still be Champions League, even on that basis. So given that, I would say there's still a good chance fifth will be Champions League. Um, but I think I think even if Leverkusen win the Europa League and then and City and Villa win Conference and Champions League, then fifth still is um, going to be a Champions League space. So I would still say I'm leaning towards fifth place will be. But um, also, we need Liverpool, even if they go out to, uh, this week, we need them to win the second leg. And if they go out, we need... Um, if West Ham can avoid defeat, that will help, even if they go out to Leverkusen. And we need, obviously, City to beat Madrid. If City go out to Madrid, we're in big trouble. If City, and, yeah. And, mm. and, and, um, Athletic, if Atletico beat and if, Dortmund... And if, yeah, if tonight. Dortmund somehow overcome... If Dortmund overcome What's Atletico, we're in big it's trouble. 2-0. 2-1. 2-1 to uh, Atletico. Atletico should have won that more comfortably, but they didn't. Um, so if they if Dortmund somehow pull off a shock, we're in so trouble as well. So who do Germany well. have left? It's just Leverkusen and Munich and, and Dortmund. Dortmund. Those, Those are the three. three teams left. So hopefully Dortmund yeah. go out, but there's a good chance Bayern and Leverkusen both Was there through. an outside chance for Spain as well to get into the top two? I'm not looking good for them, I don't no. think. No. Well, even if Real Madrid... Uh, Barca, and Barca. Barca. Real Madrid... Let's say Real Madrid-Atletico final in the Champions League. I don't know how far behind they are. I have to see the... I don't know how far. It's so classic it's Spurs, really... though, isn't it? Like we we're like <laughs> Arsenal by Munich in the quarterfinals, and like if if Arsenal win, that guarantees pretty much that. You know what? You know what? You know what's going to happen? We're going to Villa will pip us to fourth, and then we're going to need them to win the Conference League to get us fifth place Champions League. They'll lose the final. That'll, that'll probably that's probably that's probably what's going to happen. That'll be that would be typical Spurs. 
That yeah. would be... I've never been more stressed out as a Spurs fan than watching that Chelsea Champions League final with oh, them needing man. to lose. I, I can't have a repeat of that. I can't have a repeat of that. Yeah, it's um, so classic. Like we're trying to rely on our two of our biggest rivals, West Ham and Arsenal, to progress in Europe uh, for Spurs to get fifth in the, uh, Spain, in the table Champions League. But look... Yeah, Spain are quite far behind. Oh, is it quite far, yeah? They're quite far, yeah. How many points is it? doesn't sound like a lot but it's 1. 1. 1.1.7 1. 1.72 so that's quite a lot but considering you get like 0. 0.2 for a win and stuff mm. like that so they're 1.7 so they're quite a far behind so they'll probably they would need all the English teams to crash out of this round essentially for them to have a chance well it's not beyond all realms of possibility yeah, that could happen but apart but from it, Villa but if all, if all like yeah but if all English clubs crash out of this round then when we lose to Germany done, yeah, yeah. What, what be honest with yourselves though yeah forgetting the money oh actually you can't really forget the money but like <laughs> do, is there a part of you that kind of wouldn't mind europa league considering 100%. where we are the squads and stuff 100% like that, i I see so much value of being in the Europa League next season. First of all, I think it's more where our level's at at the moment. And yeah. second of all, you see a lot of players, like you're looking at the Devines, the Donleys, the Bergvals, yeah. all these kind of players. They're going to get a real chance in that competition, particularly in the group stages. So yeah. I, I see a lot of value of being Europa League next season. And this is why, this is the first time ever, I think, in a top four race that Spurs have been involved in that I'm not really asked about it. Like, I'm not asked if we get a top four, five, six. Like, obviously, I want us to finish as high as possible and I'd prefer us to be in the Champions League. But realistically, I'm, I'm not really that asked about it. People forget there probably wouldn't be a Harry Kane if there wasn't, if we weren't in the Europa League next season. <laughs> the if, Europa if League we Messi. <laughs> <league>. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. You wouldn't have got a look in. But then, with the, but then again, we went to we played in the Conference League, and I remember everyone was saying that season, "Oh, we're going to play the kids," and the kids didn't get a look in in that competition. So, we have to, and Europa League is quite a decent standard these days, especially with the new format. Potentially, I don't know what that means if the standards going up. So, I don't know if you can afford to play the kids and get through. I don't know. Oh, do you know what? I'd love to go Champions League actually because it's the new format next season, isn't it? Yeah, it's the so new format next you get year. To be the first one. I'd, I'd like. I'd like that. Actually. Can I just and you say don't, a go on, Kate. Go no, on, I was Kate. just going to say a massive big up to our Spurs ladies for getting through to the final. Yeah, yeah absolutely, fun. absolutely. I'm going to try to get to Wembley for that. Do you know what? I went on. I went on the site, and they were saying they're sold out already. But apparently, really? there are being another load released to the clubs. Yeah, uh, twelve thousand each, out. apparently. Yeah, yeah, but because we we're going to try and go as well because I think it'll be amazing. But yeah, nice to see the ladies doing what the men can't do. As yeah. usual. Maybe, maybe they'll win some silverware before the men's team. Let's hope. <laughs> yeah, let's hope so. Let's who they're playing so. in the final? United. Man United. Man yeah. United. And who's yeah. who's, who's is Manu a favourite? Yeah, big favourite. Manu lost in the FA Cup final last year to Chelsea, and then they beat them just now in the semis. How are they doing in the end in the league then? Because they had a great start, didn't I think they? The all fifth ladies, or something, but... fifth, fifth okay. or sixth or something. Yeah, it was a great. We're watching it here. the The end of the game was a brilliant game. Uh, it no, was. fully deserved it. And uh, yeah, let's hope they can bring the trophy home. And that, that's a thing—a good way to end the show, probably. Absolutely, a nice positive note after all that pessiness during uh, <laughs> an hour and a half. 